Mabuhay! Hello, Kid and Polly. Greetings from Houston. I'm with Ernesto here. We just wanted to say hi. Ernesto Consuelo. Thank you so much. Marami salamat, Paul, for being here. Have a good night. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have one last question. Oh, sure. Uh, is, uh, how do you feel about all these uh, major changes happening with Miss Universe? About you know the age increase, uh, mothers joining, and some of the Miss Universe delegates coming from different countries. They're not connected anymore with Miss Universe. They kind of back out, I guess, maybe because they don't align with the new changes happening. Mm -hmm. So uh, what, what's your take about that? For the age increase, I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not. I've been uh, hearing people say that, but I personally didn't hear that. So I'm not quite sure about that. But with the new ownership, there will always be changes. And I know change is scary, especially because Miss Universe is a legacy. But the owner, Kun Ann, I think she's a visionary and she's not afraid to take risk. And she's very transparent with everything she's doing. And spending time with her, I've seen how hardworking she is. She has built an empire from the ground up. So I know that whatever she'll do, she'll put full faith into it and I think she'll be successful because I'm looking at her past career and how she's built it so I admire the hard work that she's putting in thank you very much I'm Ernesto Pras and you're with Mike magazine from Greenville Mississippi well God nice bless. to see you thank you thank you um, <laughs> since we're here yes. in Houston Texas and you know home of NASA and your national costume before was the moon Mm -hmm. um, what's your take about, uh, it's taking s so long now since 1972 mm -hmm. that they never sent anybody else back to the moon. So you think someday it's still going to happen? Are you also a fan of astronomy too? I think astronomy is so mysterious and very exciting mm -hmm. because there's a whole other world out there with that we're not too familiar with. So to me that excites me. But that's so funny you, you asked me that question because I have a really good friend that works at NASA and she is building the new space suits for the next space travel. Mm -hmm. And she tells me of all the hours that she puts in, she is working overtime to build these space suits and there's a whole team behind it. I know that going to the moon is not easy, so they're working very diligently and she said they're sending the first woman to the moon in the next travel so I'm not sure when it is but I'm looking forward to it and I love that it's in Houston my hometown yes and how do you feel about the history repeated itself in a unique way now that with Chelsea Smith remember in year 1995 and you were probably I don't know if you were born yet <laughs> but you were probably so little I was one years old <laughs> one year old okay and you probably know what happened to her and kind yes. of repeated itself that mm -hmm. now from Miss Galveston which is not far from you mm -hmm. you're Miss U you're came from Houston mm -hmm. and then she's from Galveston and then became Miss uh, Texas then became Miss USA and both of you are biracial correct so, so that's probably spectacular to know that happened same place the new Miss Texas is Galveston Patty Chelsea Smith There's something so special about that because there's so many similarities, which is really cool. Arbany Gabriel are our new Miss Texas USA! As I've mentioned before, the pageant was in NOLA, and my middle name is NOLA. So I think there was many signs that I felt like this could be my calling. If I can just put in the hard work, I can make this happen. And you know, it's such a great feeling to bring home a win for Houston and for Texas. I mean, it's not only just a win for me, but it's a win for everybody that's helped me get to this point. So. Yeah, yeah, because everybody heard that you acknowledge your second name NOLA when you <laughs> crowned the new Miss USA.
in Huntsville, Alabama, right? Correct. And then the host there mentioned about your second name, Nola. Mm -hmm. And it's so just so fun to discover that that's your second name that many, probably many people don't know about. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> and, and again, thank you so much. And I, I'm sure you're very excited to eat Jerry's Grill tonight. And oh, course, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yeah, of course. And, looking f and of course, us uh, Filipinos and everybody else looking forward to see you in the Philippines, of course, you know, when you come there, maybe hopefully in May or whatever God's yes, will is. Yes. Again, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Maraming salamat po. This is Ernesto with Ernesto Explores in the Mike Magazine. The interview press conference here in Hilton Post Oak Galleria is already finished and Arbany Gabriel already went up to get ready for the homecoming this 8 o'clock in the evening. So everybody's so excited and she answered so many questions and everybody enjoyed listening to all her answers. Okay guys, see you tonight for the homecoming. Oh, hi, hello, Kid and Polly. Greetings from Houston. I'm with Ernesto here. We just wanted to say hi. Ernesto Consuelo. Thank you so much. Marami Salama, Paul, for being here. Have a good night. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Thank you. How do you feel right now? This is home, homecoming success. I'm immensely very happy for Albany. Very good. What she's going to do next? Uh, no question. I, I, what, what, I'm just glad to see that my daughter made it and I'm happy for her. It's a one-time experience that will never be repeated. Yes, I'm thankful to God. Yes, we, we saw all those clothing lines over there. Is, is not all those are her creation? Yes. Yes. Well, with a few exceptions. Okay. But those few exceptions are still her design, but because of time, somebody else has to make it. Yeah, this is a father. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm with Mike Magazine. What can you say about um, your daughter's very busy now? Oh, yes, she's very, very busy, but uh, she's supposed to be coming down soon yeah. for and, her entrance. And tell them that you're the mother. Uh, yes, I'm the mother of Arbany, yes. Yeah, what's your name? My name? Dana. Dana. Dana Gabriel. Well, yes. Congratulations. Thank and, yeah, you. And have thank a good, you. Have a good homecoming party. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You are the brother. I'm the oldest brother. Yes, oldest I brother am. of Arbany. Yes. How did you feel about uh, in New Orleans? Were you there? Yes, I was. Uh, actually, a lot of her family, inclusive of me and my immediate family, were there, and we were ecstatic. <laughs> right. Right. And then um, there's also another brother too. Yes, uh, she yes. has three brothers. I'm the eldest, I'm the and oldest. then. Uh, Joshua is next, mm -hmm. and then Brett is, uh, and we're all older than her. Wow! And are you going to go to the Philippines too when she goes there? Uh, in May. In May. Probably not, but uh, she's, um, she, you know, being her family, um, we have a planned trip later on. That's wonderful. Is it true that she really likes Ensaimada? Oh yes, she does. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> it's taboo to her diet, but uh, you know, she tries to sneak as much as she can. <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. And what's your name again, sir? My name is Rewell. Rewell. Okay. Yes, Rewell Gabriel. Yeah, that's nice. And that's a very nice last name too. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Well, congratulations. And are you going to be there to support her on the when she when she supports or assists the crowning for the Miss yes. Texas? Yes. Yes. So you're yes. going to be there too. And do you think yes. that? Um, the father, the mother will be there too? They will be there, yeah, yes. In this Texas, yeah, in July. Yes. Well, again, sir, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And I appreciate it. Thank I you. enjoyed you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>